Good everybody, welcome back to another video. This time we're doing MK1 Blind Tech defending against Rico. We brought the MK1 Blind Tech back. Now, I know, um, not everybody needs this, but I'm going to try my best to help um, explain what Rico is doing, um, what his game plan is, but also how to defend against him from a blind player's perspective. Now, if you're not blind or vision impaired, hopefully this helps you in some way, but if you're blind or vision impaired, hopefully it does help you as well. Um, just in general, I'm hoping this helps somebody, honestly. Now, for Reiko, now, of course, he's supposed to be the grappler of the game. He has a 10 frame command grab. This sucker is a high by default. 11% damage, plus 10 on knockdown. Can't really, whiff punch, can't really um, do anything after, except, like, dash into something. But even then, they can armor, they can do whatever. Um, his, his, like, punishable stuff is back forward 3, which is his slide. So I'm going to mute my mic so you can hear the slide and listen to it. I'm going to do the regular slide and then the mid slide. There's, there's a low and low mid. So I messed that up. You heard the kick, and then you heard the slide, and then the mid slide. The mid slide, it's him like doing it like a rising knee, so you can hear his, his foot hit the ground again. Um, but yeah, like I I know a fair amount of people who like because of the pushback, they've actually had trouble punishing the regular slide um, because there, so there's a fair amount. Um, and then the rising knee, it's like no, you're you're right in their face with no pushback. Like that's easier punish. Uh, both of these, I believe, are negative 20 between negative 18 and negative 24. So you get like big boy punishes off both of them. Uh, it makes sense. They both are launchers, right? Um, down back three. I'm going to mute my mic so you can hear it again as well. Um, this is a mid. This is armor move. Um, it's like 20 frame, 18 frame startup, negative 20 on block, I'm pretty sure. Or like, if not negative 20, it's really punishable. So, as you can tell, auditorily speaking, it is a little tricky to tell what he's doing because down back three, back forward three, and back forward three with the rising knee, they all sound pretty similar except the knee, the knee's very clear. But the slide and the armor move, I mean, the slide is more pushback, but yeah, like, on, like auditorily, it's hard to tell. Um, so, what I would recommend is try to find a punish that will punish both of these. Um, so that way, you don't have to guess which one he's doing for pushback concerns. Um, the other big thing is is what's punishable for his strings, right? So, one, two, three is safe on block, except one, two has a gap. So then after that, on the third hit, you can armor out, a false block or invincible uh, cameo, whatever. Stand two and four is safe on block with no gap at all. They can't do anything, no armor, no nothing. So I think false block, but that's it. Um, even then, you're not being punished for it. It's safe. Um, 4 2, this is safe on block, it's an overhead. You have to sand block this, safe on block. Uh, back 2, he is plus on block. Uh, you're you're holding this. Okay, but realistically, you're not ducking that, at least in my opinion. I don't think, I don't, it's not a it's not a concern. Uh, because especially you can you can jail into this off down 3 or down 4. You could like down 4 into, you know, dash in, right? Anyway, the right so Sam one two has a gap. Uh, two one four does not have a gap. Back to four two. Uh, uppercut, pretty sure is punishable. Maybe even a little bit safe, um, especially with the pushback. Like you're, you're like all the way over there. So you know, if the Rayco decides to do that, they can. Of course, depending on the camera, they can get a full combo or like a partial combo. Uh, like for example, for Jax, I could do like down two into four four forward Jax. And do stand three command grab. It's like what twenty eight percent, not twenty eight percent. Sorry, but like twenty two, eighteen. I don't know what the damage is. Um, the other big thing that a lot of people get away with with Reiko is his ninja stars. Um, these are highs by default, and they're negative uh, negative sixteen, I believe. Uh, in in right in the pillow's face. So if I just do like one two ninja star, like that should be like a straight like like sub can do like four to one into full combo, right? Um, but if I do EX Ninja Star, let's see. There's just a bit more pushback, and I think it's like one frame more punishable, but there's like just the tiniest bit more pushback. And this is where it starts to get tricky because um, you could do these on block, and it breaks them trying to break armor, and you could do it on Hinder Force as well, and like jails and stuff. But like down four into EX Ninja Stars, like. Like you you you're you're looking at like a pretty chunky amount of space. Uh, back three to ninja stars. 
so come on there we go now the tricky part is that if you read the rakers during the high ones you can just newt, let go of a duck and stand up with punish him um, but if he reads that and he does the mid one then the middle eat will catch you and he'll be plus two in your face right so that's the the, the dynamic between that in my opinion um again i I'm, i know people can punish i'm not i'm not ignorant enough to say that however i have found that it's hard to punish because of the the mid the threat of the mid especially if you do amp it uh, if you do amp it it's really hard to punish from what i've seen like i i tried for like a regal mirror i tried like micro dash into stand one or stand or not stand one uh, stand two stand three stand four because stand two stand frame stand four is 11 frame stand three is 12 frames i'm like okay those are fast enough to punish right even with a micro dash, it couldn't be done. Uh, at least I couldn't get it to work. Um, now, of course, it's not Rico's turn. He can't do anything after. So you, you can always dash in your pressure on your on on if if the Rico does the ninja stars. Um, I, I imagine Raiden's down back three could punish probably because um, I think it seems to be really fast for its range. Now, the other thing is a lot of people. Um, a lot of people do, kind of do weird stuff. So forward one two four. This is sixteen frame mid. Forward one two safe, and then the last hit it's a launcher, right? So here's the thing though. The last hit's a high, and it's punishable. And there's a gap. So like there's three negatives to that last hit. So you could duck it and punish. You could block and punish, or you can armor out if you really want to spend the bar for loss block. You don't need to do any of that. You literally just have to, like, like, like unless the Reiko. Um, unless they overcommit, like, you're not, like, I mean, they're safe. Sorry about that. Unfortunately, I don't have the tools to edit that out. Um, anyway, the yeah. So the ninja stars are probably the hardest thing to punish. Um, if you guys have any ideas on or thoughts or what to do, um, feel free to let me know. Um, especially you know share the information. Um, I for me because I'm paranoid. I I usually will do like down four on blocking ninja stars and then people can't punish that. Or I will also throw striker grenades on top of it so they try and take the turn back. Like I'm that guy, right? Um, but then again, there's a lot of people, a lot of characters playing this game. Um, so the other thing as well, I forgot to mention is stand three, four, stand four, three, and four, all these hits, all these kicks, right? Back three, four, all these kicks are all highs except back three, back three is a mid, but every other button I just listed, stand three, stand three, four, stand four, stand four, three, stand four, three, four, all of them are highs and I've tried it and, and like messed with the AI and stuff, let's see, try and get them to like let go of, neutral, uh, let go of block and neutral duck. You can stand three four if they if you see them go for stand three, you can let go let go block and duck the second hit, and full combo punish and stand three four is negative eight on block anyway, um, but yeah so you like if you have a fast like a stand a seven frame standing jab or six frame button, you can punish that, um, or just let go block and full combo punish with a slow mid, or slow button. Uh, stand four three is trickier. I've so four three four has a gap. So four through four has a gap, so you can armor out of it, or you can duck it. I think, as far as I've been able to test. But here's the thing, right? So what a lot of people do is they will see the first hit of stand four, and they will let go of block, and the stand four three will connect, and then the the second kick will have a different hit reaction, to where the opponent gets down so fast, and then the four through four will whiff, and then they wake like. So essentially, what people are doing is they're they're intentionally letting the the three hit, so then they get to punish me if I overcome it to the four through four the whole thing. Um, so if a rig was on point, all they can, all they have to do, because you can't duck out of this gap. I, at least I couldn't get the idea to duck out. Um, and so what you, you just have to be more on point, because this will link in the slide for damp for combos or whatever, or you know, whatever cameo crap you can do. Um, and so you just have to be more on, on point as a Rico player and pay more attention as a defender. Um, if the Rico stops here, if they, if they know how to confirm, then it's your turn for sure, right? He's not, he's not like plus. The only plus things he has is sweep, back to stand two one. He's plus stand one. He's plus. Those are just four plus frame buttons. 
Um, in fact, his sweep is plus one block, his back two is plus one block, that's not bad. Um, so, I'm trying, I'm trying to think, I'm, I'm hoping I'm articulating this well. The defending against Rico on, on knockdown on Oki is hard, um, from what I've experienced being the Rico player, right? Because Rico can break armor on almost everybody in the game, because Ninja Stars has three hits, and EX Ninja Stars six hits, or five hits, or whatever. So he can break armor with that, he can break armor with his jab string, his jab string is, like, fast enough to break armor on a lot of characters, like, like, it's kind of stupid, um... Reversal, get to ice ball, enhanced ice like. Okay, you can't do it against slide, but the point is, um, you can do you break armor, and at that point you just have to just delay wake up or make the read and just wake up and poke him out of his high stars or high jab string. Um. If he did those the mid, then you know, you'll just have to take the mid, ninja stars, or whatever. But like that, that's my best recommendation: is either if you think he's gonna break your armor, just wake up and mash pokes and and you know low pokes or whatever, or delay wake up. Delay wake up really beats it, of course. Um, but then again, the, if the Rico reads it, it's all about reads, right? So if the Rico reads it, they can they can do some sort of setup or something to, to pressure, uh, especially with sector. Sector has like some crazy good synergy with Rico um, for post knockdown crap. Um, as far as like cameos, like trying to think of like different cameos with Rico that people use. Um, the obvious one is Darius because it lets him get combos with the command grab. Um, Serena is another great pick, and uh, for defending in Serena with Rico, it's the same as any other Serena. Um, you just have to know what your punish is on her knives, and then you can full combo them. Um, for Darius specifically, if you see Rico do this or hear him do this, the, the spin Darius thing. You can floss swap the third hit and then dash into a punish, from what I remember. Um, so that's a, pun that's a full combo right there. Um, of course, if you duck the command grab or jump the command grab, you can armor the command grab. I'm trying to think what else. I'm trying to think of anything else. Um, I think that's about it um, as far as I can think of. If you guys have any other tips or, or questions, feel free to comment down below. Thanks again for watching or listening, and we'll see you guys next time.